Easter week in the U.S. helped drive improved chain store sales through April the 4th. ICSE placed comparable store sales up almost 5% in the U.S. from one year ago. In cash registers this past week rang up 2% more sales than the previous week. One year ago, Easter week ended April the 12th. More specifically, spending polls reported that luxury goods sales in March rose 23%. But the group pointed out, too, that this category experienced double-digit declines in March 2009. Given such healthy increases, though, Spending Pulse still says that retail sales are off from their 2008 levels. There were nearly 3 million carats of ready rough diamonds being held in Zimbabwe, according to a report filed by the Kimberley Processor Special Monitor, Abby Chikane. The report was not published by the KP, but it is available on diamonds.net. Zimbabwe is working towards full KP compliance as agreed to in November through a joint working plan, and Chikane recommended several steps towards meeting that goal in his March report. In terms of bureaucracy, he suggested scaling back the number of government agencies involved with rough diamonds at the controversial Marangi diamond fields. He also observed that the government placed civil servants in charge of rough diamond imports and exports, but those workers had not been trained. Chikane recommended these workers be KP compliant educated, especially to monitor and audit for system leaks. From the ground, the two diamond miners at the heart of Zimbabwe's compliance issues, Mambada Diamonds and Canadio Miners, did not have adequate diamond audit systems in place. Chikane recommended the firms hire diamond auditors and install security cameras at their sorting centers. The miners must improve their accuracy of rough diamond statistics across their entire pipeline. For the longer term, Shikani recommended that a cabinet task force could develop a clear diamond mining strategy for Zimbabwe, but it remained imperative that this task force communicate such plans across all levels of government. One issue related to this effort is an ongoing broad-scale residential relocation effort underway in the Marangi. He said any task force should keep open to new ideas moving forward, especially given how the relocations were planned during the diamond rush, and given economic conditions in the pipeline today, that effort may not be necessary. As Chikane continues to monitor the country's diamond compliance efforts, he emphasized the need for regional cooperation to keep rough diamonds within Zimbabwe's borders. Even the KP vice chair country, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, may wish to champion such efforts in the region. Here is a look at how precious metals prices fared this past week. For all the latest industry news, be sure to visit diamonds.net.